This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It's the biggest selling vehicle in Nissan's North American lineup and arguably the most important one for the brand in the highly competitive midsize segment. For 2013, Nissan is stepping up its game in the Altima with a refreshed exterior, a reworked interior, a serious tweaking to the drivetrain, and some technology advances. First, it is wider and slightly lower than the previous model, which gave the impression of a tight fit. The back end has been updated, including a taillight assembly, which includes wraparound backup lights. A lot of detail has gone into the new interior, including the center armrest, which is now padded, and a redesigned instrument panel that's getting a lot of applications. Um, the centerpiece here, um, it's much more legible than some of the older ones with the black and with the orange lettering. Mm -hmm. Is this, again, something that we may see on other, other uh, uh, Nissan products? You, you will absolutely see this on other products. In fact, uh, the, the new Pathfinder uh, that will be launched very soon, uh, it has a, a similar version of the same display. Uh, of course, the vehicle that you see there uh, uh, is the Altima that will be changed to, to the Pathfinder. And there's some other function differences, but yes, we will, we will be uh, spreading this technology through our lineup. There are no more manuals in the Altima, a near seamless CVT gearbox is standard. Bluetooth connections for phones and streaming audio are also standard. Under the hood, there are two engine choices. The reliable 3.5 liter V6 rated at 270 horsepower and 251 foot-pounds of torque. And a reworked 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder motor. It's rated at 182 horsepower and 180 foot-pounds of torque. This motor is set up to get 38 miles to the gallon on the open road without special tires or stripping features away from the Altima. Of course, reaching optimum fuel economy means having properly inflated tires, and a standard alert system makes it so easy that even a journalist can understand. So you'll see the flashers uh, flashing, that indicates that the tire pressure is changing. Done. The Altima is also the first car to get an upgraded backup camera system which can include blind spot detection technology. The handling has been upgraded for the 2013 model, including an electrically assisted power steering system that does not draw energy from the engine. The suspension has been improved with premium level shock absorbers and active understeer, so the sedan goes just where a driver points it. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.